I'm going to be reading from Hebrews chapter 10, beginning with verse 30, or 22. Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on to, towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another all the more until you see the day approaching. Sometimes people take uh, meeting together lightly. It's uh, if it, if something else more important doesn't come into my life. If I have time, I remember Terry used to say, you plan on being here. You plan the night before, the day before. I'm going to be there. And if you do it consistently enough, people know where you're going to be. Even people who don't believe say, so-and-so is going to be at church this morning. Don't bother them, they're at church. I heard a preacher <clears throat> talking on the radio the other day, and I, I thought it odd that he took the Lord's Supper so lightly. He said that it didn't matter whether it was leavened bread or unleavened bread or whether it was pizza. And it didn't matter whether it was wine or grape juice or Mountain Dew. And I thought, you know, that seems kind of cynical and doesn't seem like you're taking the Lord's Supper very seriously. And I think that we should take the Lord's Supper very seriously because I think Jesus was serious. When he said, do this in remembrance of me, to do it with reverence and to do it with understanding of the price that was paid for our grace. These symbols, he said, are reminders. This bread represents my body. This fruit of the vine represents my blood. This represents me. And for those things to represent the one who gave all so that we could have the grace, so that we could have the power over death, so that we could have the forgiveness that we so desperately need and cannot acquire on our own. What a gift. So let's do it in a manner pleasing to him. Let's go to our Father in prayer. Larry's reading and some of his words made my mind think of some passages in Scripture that every time the saints came together, they broke bread and had wine in remembrance of their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I, the church I grew up in and was confirmed in, did communion maybe two or three times a year, your Christmas Eve and Easter, and so I never until I started coming here and reading the Scripture and understanding what it is we do as Christians that the power of what we do is why we come together. It's, it's not to hear a preacher preach, it's to sing songs. It's to break bread and remember Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the reason that we have life and hope. Let's go to our Father in prayer. <clears throat> 